second elected woman in American history. She is third in line to the presidency. Third in line. Third. And like you, Speaker Pelosi is a proud graduate of a women's college, Trinity College. Trinity College in Washington, D.C. She has represented California's 8th Congressional District since 1987. San Francisco's in the house. And was elected House Democratic Whip and later House Democratic Leader in 2002. She was the first woman in the United States to lead a major party. And as Speaker, she has built consensus across the aisle and with a di within a diverse House Democratic Caucus, which I can tell you is not easy as chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. It is not easy, but she's done it. From one of her first legislative victories early on that created the housing opportunities for people living with AIDS, to her most recent battles passing the Recovery Act and historic, mind you, historic health care and student aid form reform legislation. She has proved to be a strong, pragmatic, and effective leader. With Speaker Pelosi at the helm of both the 110th and 111th Congress, she has built an impressive record focused on the priorities of the American people. And she has had a tough job while our country continues to recover from a decade of misguided policies. A decade of misguided policies. A decade. But you know what? She does a lot of heavy lifting with President Obama to push important legislation, a lot of heavy lifting, to push important legislation through the House to bring about the change that we so desperately need. And through it all, through it all, she consistently demonstrates that one does not have to give up one's principles to be an elected official. She never does that. And beyond her record as speaker, she has done so much to inspire and empower a new generation of women leaders and is a remarkable role model. In her memoir, Know Your Power, A Message to America's Daughters, she writes passionately about overcoming challenges and obstacles to become the leader that she is today. Therefore, to all of the daughters in caps and gowns out there today, I urge you to take note of what is possible when a leader tirelessly tirelessly follows her call to serve our country and the needs of women and men everywhere. Know your power. No one, and I mean no one, is more qualified to lead us beyond the economic, political, and national security challenges that we still face as a nation today other than Speaker Pelosi. And so in the final pages of her memoir, Speaker Pelosi, and I just want to read you this quote as I close. She addresses a new array of opportunities available to young women. She writes, what a wonderful and exhilarating time to be a woman in America where there are no limits to our futures, no limit to the beauty of our dreams. As long as we recognize the power within us, we will continue to have choices and we will continue to lead. Now let us welcome the greatest speaker in the United States history, Speaker Nancy Pelosi.